Regenerative farming as a term that's been used heavily very recently is quite new to me. And what I knew about this place was irrigation and tractors and the desert and trucks and hauling hay. And I really wasn't interested in that kind of farming. We started with veggies and we expanded really quickly into grains and meats, dairy, honey. And the food that we raise here is exclusively sold within my community. And we also donate between 500 and 2,500 pounds of produce every week because we just grow a lot of food. It's exciting to think about the work that we're doing being more than just feeding ourselves and our community and having a diverse ecosystem here. I mean, that in and of itself feels right and good. But to really be able to track the environmental impact is something that I'm extremely excited about. So we're looking to find out how much of this field is perennial grasses, warm season grasses, cool season grasses. We look at it by functional group as well as specific species. EOV stands for Ecological Outcome Verification, and it's basically a global certification uh, that allows farmers and ranchers to pay attention to the outcomes of their practices. Then we can help them quickly change um, what they're doing to get the outcomes that they're looking for. And so I'll be identifying plants and essentially counting grass in order to calculate those numbers. Plants and soil microbial interaction is what is building soil and is what is sequestering carbon and filtering the air and producing more oxygen than the rainforest. And the beauty of what she's doing is she's letting the soil tell the story. When I'm taking soil samples, I really want to see this kind of chocolate cake structure in the soil. The other really cool thing is sometimes there's just roots extending through the whole 30 centimeters of this and kind of hanging out the bottom. You know, it's just this extensive system and everything is connected. And the more you have, the more there is. And so this abundance is what we're looking for. We want to utilize these cows to pull carbon from the atmosphere and, and sequester that stuff right in the ground. Um, they're the tool that we use to, to regenerate our land. And so as this um, ecological outcome verified program came out through the Savory Institute, you know, progressing into this land to market seal, it was second nature to, to go after it and see fit for the farm because we were already doing uh, what it believed in, regenerating the land through the use of animals and putting carbon back into the soil and really just intentionally working with nature and not against it. Land to Market is this place where people can trust the information that's coming out. Our producers aren't checking the boxes of the practices that someone else tells them to use. They are monitoring the outcomes of what's happening on their land. And they are able to say that products that are coming off of my land are regenerating the soil under my feet. We have data of collecting soil samples back in the late 90s, and we can see that positive effect of dairy cattle regenerating the earth. And my parents, they're soil driven, they're health driven, they're um, interested in bringing to the market a product that's healthy for people and fills them, not only in their stomach, but fills their soul because they're supporting a farm that is helping heal the earth. People really do care about 
the place that we're at right now in this world, and they really want to make a difference. You know, I know that this farm isn't everywhere for everyone, but to care for it is my greatest honor, and to be able to invite incredible people here, to share it with people who want to learn how to farm and take this knowledge other places, to just get close to their food and truly understand it. All of those things is my obligation and honor to do those things. And it all comes from the inspiration of this land.